Hello everyone, in this video we are going to start looking at a new uh, programming language called JavaScript and this will be a completely new series after my uh, HTML, CSS and my short X HTML tutorial playlist. Now JavaScript is a scripting language used in web programming uh, and it's it, it, what do you call it? It makes your website move, if that's the correct way to say it. Say for example you go to a website and you uh, press a button and something pops up or you have a form in front of you and you type your name, your email address and your uh, I don't know, your contact details in and you press submit and that sends an email to wherever. JavaScript does all that for you. It basically is in charge of uh, validating forms, it does uh, moving objects, it adds button functionalities and it basically communicates with the server and so on. Now before we started, we, before we start uh, writing JavaScript there's a couple of things you need to know. First, I can't stress this enough but JavaScript and Java is completely different. It's two uh, different languages. One of them, JavaScript, is a web-based programming language or scripting language. Java is more of a desktop programming language, if that's the right way to say it. Java is like C and C++, whereas JavaScript is completely web-based. Okay, before learning JavaScript, you need to know HTML and CSS. It's You need to know the basic understanding of those two. It's highly recommended because what JavaScript basically does is change, uh, you can use JavaScript to change the HTML and CSS of your website to make your website look as if it's moving. Say for example, you have a website with a background color of blue and you the visitor presses a button and that background color changes to yellow that's not really a practical example however it's still an example to show not show you but explain that JavaScript can change HTML as well as CSS <coughs> now uh, here is a website I was playing around with a couple of weeks month ago and I used JavaScript to make it a bit fun. Now here is the home and if I click I don't know works instead of going jumping to a new page it actually scrolls down as you might be able to see the scroll bar move automatically but it scrolls down to that specific page for in this uh, example works and I can go to contacts I can go to about I can go to home and so on that's one of the f functionalities you can do with JavaScript. And the other thing is I've got these images, small images like a house, a circle, a rectangle and stuff. And if I hover over them, it starts to move. It's quite cute, isn't it? These little stuff actually makes your website really uh, cute and it looks more sophisticated. Sophisticated? Yeah, why not? Now if I go to my contacts and press this, another window pops out without the page uh, reloading itself. This is a pop-up and it's a form. You write your full name, your email address, your sub the subject and you enter a message and when you press this it sends an email. And at, what it does is automatically sends an email with your the full name, email address, subject and the message to that specif specific email using JavaScript. Now at the same time, JavaScript is used for form validation. That is, when I, let me restart this, oops, okay it's fine. When I press send email without anything, it the background color of these four uh, text boxes changed. That is because uh, at, at the back of the website in the JavaScript uh, source code, 
<coughs> it uses a validation which checks that the form the forms that is required in my example I'm using this small uh, stars multiplication signs to tell my visitor that you need to type in stuff in here so if I say for example I don't know John or anything and I press send email that bit because it's filled in goes back to white but if I delete it it goes to red telling the visitor that there's an error you need to actually put in stuff here so that's JavaScript and also when I click on the contacts the surrounding becomes uh, darker so that you can focus on the form itself and that's about it JavaScript is really cool it's a really fun language to learn HTML and CSS HTML was basically a markup language so it only used tags to describe the website and CSS only change or declare the way HTML looks on your website so JavaScript if you're uh, following the usual web uh, programming what do you call it path of HTML CSS into JavaScript JavaScript is the first uh, actual programming language you learn when you are uh, creating a website so JavaScript is really fun it's not too hard my tutorial list is going to be about 20 episodes roughly on the basic of JavaScript and I'm thinking of doing about like a, a playlist series for each uh, project say a fully working form validator or I don't know like a calculator in your website and so on something like that I haven't decided yet but yeah uh, stay tuned for more and from in the next video we would actually get get our hands dirty on coding JavaScript so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later